Hi right, guys, we're back with why your bee collar training has to be very technical. And the answer is because it's going to fall apart if it isn't. It's, you're going to suffer all kinds of blowback and you're going to have a dog, a joyless animal with a terrible attitude. That's why. So I think it is important for people to understand the e-collar is just augmenting your current methodology. If your current methodology does not allow for any animation. Hi, Jessica. You're not going to have any with the e-collar. And you're even going to have less than you would if you didn't have it because it's going to amplify whatever you're doing. So if whatever you're doing is stripping away the animation, the e-collar is going to help you do that faster. All right, hang on. Let me rip it. Yes, I have to tell you, the dogs chewed the phone holder, so now I have it in the grip. Um, tip it a little bit. Hang on, let me see if I can find something. You know, but I think you have to start out, you know, if you're not aloof at all to the dog, you've already given yourself away. And it's not like people, you know, where you meet someone and on the first date, then you just start loving and hugging each other for 20 something years. Dogs aren't like that. So what I've got is a dog and you've got to train and drive. That's why you've got to use food. People question, why do you use food? You've got to, you've got to train and drive. And if you said, well, what are the other, you can't count on every dog having ball drive and you don't even want to go. thought about sitting. He does it on the couch. So I'm saying to myself, oh, I'm not, oh, shh, be careful. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, I need to move that platform, but I just work over here real quick. <laughs> He's got to be more careful. He's not interested in me and looking at me because I'm touching him. You're just creating a behavior. And if you said, what if you don't later don't have food? That's the day that you're training for. You're training for the day that you don't have food. And the dog, you need the dog to come. And it doesn't say to itself, they might not have any food. That's why I recommend Godfrey's book to everybody. You know, to read that, to understand... Yeah, he's five times better than me. Oh, at least, you know. And I know you can't really, you know, the, the level of animation they're garnering is somewhat genetic in those dogs. You're not always going to get that, but you want to at least be in that realm. Because I've got two very technical turns. And I'll do it. You might be able to hear it. But again, I'm not touching it. If you said, I do rubbing and everything, and I get up on the platform, and they're right in front of me. He's thinking of, he's actually thinking of sitting. I can see his little butt just, oh, it's just scrunching, just easy. All right, so I've got a very technical turn. I should grab my chalk real quick. Hang on. So this is my turn. Uh-oh. Do it right here. This is your handler. The handler is on a straight trajectory. This is the dog. The dog has got to go all the way around to there. That's your subtask. Honestly, from there to there. The handler has to remain stationary. The dog has to cover a lot more ground. Oh, you little monkey. 
He tried to take it out of my hand. He's absolutely awful. Oh, he's absolutely awful. I am adding... Um, I am adding verbiage to the whole thing. Oh, and Rocky and Eli are over there, so. Oh, he's just not paying them any mind. But that's my technical talk. If you were gonna do it as a thing, this is how, you know, this is how you, and people need to draw it out on the sidewalk in the beginning if they can't do it. Angus, yay. He said, when are you going to do that? When I need him to turn later. If we see another dog, I have to start going the other way real fast. That's how I want him to turn. Yay. So it's very, very technical. You said do it 10 more times. I could. I could. There's my paws. Okay, time for dancing. And then my other turn, my other turn is the turn. That's not going to really work for that, but it's a pivot towards the dog. You know, if you said, well, the specs were pivot right, pivot left. Yes, absolutely. You should have a, if your training doesn't afford a pivot right, pivot left, I, my question would be, what kind of training is it? You know, what are you training it for if you don't have that? <laughs> Every discipline has some kind of something where you can move the dog. He needs shoes. That's what he needs. Uh, Kimberly Ann, you're probably not there, but I want you to picture him with some little tap shoes on. Little tap shoes, a little hat. You know, but this dog chooses to stay there. Not, and I'm not touching it. Oh, you've got to be careful. Oh, you just got to be careful. So whatever I'm doing is not resulting in the dog becoming joyless, it's getting more animated. And I am adding little, if you're not smart, and I say all the time, you're better off if I, if you said, well, what can I replace the petting with laugh, laugh. If you laugh when they do something, they'll do it again. And if you said that's a version of animation on your part, it is. That's what it is. And you little kids can get dogs to do things over and over by laughing when they do it. So I'm just doing a version of that. I'm doing the Tyra Banks Smize. I'm sure they have America's Next Top Model there, Jessica. All right, so I'm just going to look. I can get him. I don't know if you notice, I'm not saying anything. Oh, he's Johnny on the spot. <laughs> So I can get him to carry. I gotta be careful though, because he might go into the bush. So I do have him understanding. Oh, and he even went over the little bridge. So I don't know if you're there, Mike, but I do understand now that that's what we need to do is use the page. That's how you get, this is how we're gonna make it into a trying to retrieve. Once you can get him to understand to pick it up with the pager, if you said, well, it, that'll make it virtually impossible to see a refusal. <laughs> I know you're not saying that, but that's the reality of it. If we get them to the point, they'll pick it up with the pager. You're in there. You're on the ground floor of a train to retrieve. Obviously, you're not setting the dog up for failure, but you are going to, at a, some later point, see an obvious refusal. Not that you've led the dog down that path, but it could happen. And then maybe that's where you're, you're, that's where you're just asking for like a micro refusal. All right, let's do it one more time. Oh. 
thing let yeah the hell it's not you laugh they'll do it again that's where I got the little squirrel laugh oh he even ran all right that's we're putting our act together we'll have it ready by Christmas hopefully we're gonna have him ready for his new home by Christmas all right so I can just cue him to pick it up I do want to have some precursors, though. I'm kind of moving around. <laughs> oh, how absolutely adorable. So, I'm well on my way to a bulldog with a trained retrieve. Am I wrong? Anyway, guys, I will be right back. 